Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my Angular course. Now we are reaching about the end of the Angular routing. These are all the things. Mm, up to now, I have covered all the features that Angular routing provides us: shell routing and outsourcing that all file. So if you see here, app.module.ts, we have outsourced. Uh, we have completely kept the routings in another file. We have seen. Now we will move into an another concept that is nothing but guarding guards. Okay, guards means nothing but what we can see is if you are going from one route to another route, if you want to check when we are moving from one route to another route, if you want to check whether the user is logged in or not, or otherwise whether he has permissions or not, okay, whether he has permissions to move to that page or not, if you want to check these type of things, okay, so these things, these type of permissions checking and all those things before moving into the routing, uh, before moving into the other route. So you'll be writing guards. These are called as guards. Okay. So for example, you can say that I am in home page. So let's assume that I am in home page. So I am in home page here. Okay. I am going to users page. So before moving, jumping from home to users, I want to check whether in between this one, whether the user is logged in or not. Okay. So if the user is logged in only, I need to move. I need to access this users page. Other than that, I don't want to access this users page okay if the user is logged in only i need to access the users page okay so how we can check this type of scenario so normally you can say that yeah what what is there the issue so you can go to users.component.html or users.component.ts and we can write the code in the ng on in it right so we can write the ng on in it this one is okay fine but so in in every chain routers also you need to write this code okay if you want to write the code in in every chain route also you need to write the code if anything simple thing changes we need to remove that all the code from uh, from everywhere in it we need to remove that one okay so we can write this type of we have this type of approach also we can uh, we can achieve but angular provides us with a guards that before moving to one road to another in between before entering into that another road we can add a new file so we can check a conditions that one so we can check a conditions uh, whether that uh, whether that route we have access or not if it is there means it will forward or otherwise it will uh, it will not forward whether you want to intend it where to where you need to go it will move it move that route okay this is nothing but guards okay so we have two types of uh, three types of guards actually can activate can activate child and can deactivate so right now we will check about the we will see in this video can activate so what is this can activate can activate is nothing but the name itself is so can i activate this route that means uh, i is there an access for this route so if you are moving from one route to another route so we need to check it for this route is there access for this route or not okay so let's implement that uh, that route so now i can go here okay here i have services okay i have created a services folder and here i have created another one in the services folder i have created another folder god okay so before creating this uh, services thing we will create a dummy login thing so for example uh, i can create a new service something like auth.service.ts okay so this one is a simple class export class auth service so no need to target anything so i will be having is logged in okay is logged in is equal to false first time the user will be logged in so login login i will be having one method so when the user uh, calls this one i will make it as true and another one i will be having logout so just it's a normal dummy dummy login only it's not a pure few pure uh, full-fledged uh, logic it's not a full-fledged login so is logged in i can make it as false okay now we are checking this one perfect fine it's perfect now what i will try to do is so i can go in the app module and i can provide it in the here auth service so we are not able to get this one okay fine so we can we need to import this one services here import from dot slash services slash auth dot service okay this is the auth service so what i can inject auth service so i have provided this one in the app dot module fine perfect so now i created a new service auth dot service this one is perfect now i need to create i will create another god name so auth hyphen god 
okay dot service dot es remember that gods is also one type of service only okay gods also one type of service only so now what i will try to do is this auth god what it will check is if the user is logged in only it will return true if the user is not logged in it will not return true okay perfect so now export class auth god service whatever the name you want you can give now in order to make this one as a god what i need to do is i need to implement can activate so implements can activate okay we are not able to get this one so we need to import it from the method angular slash router so this interface need to be implemented from the can activate okay so we will be implementing from the here so now i will implement this can activate i implemented so whenever we are implementing this can activate so can activate has to implement one method that is nothing but what we can say is can activate method can activate method takes two methods okay so for this uh, service it will uh, two two properties will be injected what is the two properties first one is route route is nothing but what we can say is activated route so this one is from here you will be getting activated route snapshot this one also need to be imported from the angular router and another one is the state so what is the state it is having so router snapshot okay router state snapshot okay the state of this one so now what is the return type of this one so the return type of the activate can activate will be it will be a boolean okay it can be a promise of boolean okay so promise of boolean or anything so i'm taking so i am giving it should be it can be an observable also we will see more about this observable in the coming videos so like this okay so it can take anything now i will inject the auth service why because in auth service you are having the login logout this thing private auth service is equal to auth service auth service okay auth service need to be sorry need to be injected from the from the services 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 slash auth dot service okay now sorry we have like this okay now here you will be having what is this problem we are getting so we need to add at the rate injectable here okay so it, it also need to be imported and now here what is the problem we are getting so here if i play this one okay auth service cannot find not auth service okay fine so here i can import okay maybe the problem is this one one second so we are getting error right so let's for, for example you need to remove this one so we will uh, add return true for the time being and what i will try to do is i will try to add this auth guard service also so it is also one type of service so we need to implement it here so if i write it here okay fine now i can go here services slash guards slash you can say auth guard service and here i can write auth guard service okay this could be the no problem and here i can go to auth guard service okay so this auth service i can go and i can implement this auth service here i can remove this auth service okay so this is the auth service what we have implemented so we have imported we have uh, we have created a auth guard service a new service we need to implement can activate so now i have injected the auth service also now i need to check whether the user is logged in or not so now here what i can do is this dot auth service so what i will try to do in this auth service i will create a one method something like is authenticated okay is authenticated so this one will return this dot is logged in 
okay this it will return this one is authenticated so here what it will try to do is this dot is authenticated let is logged in okay what i can write here if it is logged in i will return the true perfect it's not a problem or else if it is not true so that means the user is not logged in then what i need to do so i will inject the router again private router is equal to router router okay so it should also be imported from the angular router it will be where it is angular router router we need to import and here what i will try to do is this dot so wherever you want router navigate so you can navigate so i will be navigating it to the slash slash means home page so this is the auth guard service so what it is doing is so for every time export service in this class it will check whether the user is logged in or not if the user is logged in then only it will send that uh, send that one to the uh, to the root what you are clicked or otherwise it will navigate it to the home page so now implementing this one is not enough we need to add it to the which root i need to check this one whenever anybody is coming to that root for which root i need to apply so here we need to apply to the users okay so for this users we write it so you will be having a key here can activate this one will take area of gods okay so i can write auth god service i can write directly like this so you better you need to import it down top and the top here so can activate i have imported that auth god service now let's check so here first time the user uh, it is in is false right so now if you check the output so if i refresh it here now i am clicking categories fine it's working now i am clicking on the users it is going to home see when i am clicking on the users it is going to home so why because the user is not logged in right so that is the reason it is jumping into the home so now what i can do is here i will write in the app component app component dot html i will add dot pro dot call mod 12 okay i will add two buttons two buttons login and another one is logout okay now what i will try to do is at the rate click on login click i can try i can write on login click and here at on click i can do on logout click okay so i can do two methods i can implement two methods okay now what i will try to do is here i can take these two things and i can write it in the app component dot ts here on login click is i can i need to inject it here auth service constructor private auth service auth service is equal to auth service i can inject the auth service here sorry I can inject the auth service okay fine not a problem so we need to add this one add auth set sorry auth service i have imported at the top okay we will keep it at the top this one title so that it will be very nice on login click what i will try to do this dot auth service dot login i can call this login sorry login okay in the same scenario on logout click okay so this dot auth service dot logout so i am logging out whenever the user clicks i am logging out now here if i go so now if i if i go to categories if i click on users it's going to home page now i am clicking on login so that means the user is now logged in now i am going to categories i am going to users so see now i am able to get the users details and all those things if i click on logout and if i go, try to get the users it will not get the users okay so if the user is logged in only we will be able to access this users so this is how we can implement the can activate route in the uh, what i can say in the angular routing okay so can activate what it will do is before going into this users route it will execute the method 
can activate in this authguard service authguard service what it will do so if you go to the authguard service okay if you go to the authguard service authguard service it will check whether the user is logged in or not if the user is logged in means returns true returns true means it will go to the true or otherwise it is navigating to the home page so this is how we will be implementing the can activate root in the angular okay uh, so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you